a journey ending shortly after it begins. This boat was stopped by the Sri Lankan Navy about three hours after it left the Trincomalee coastline. The fishing trawler meant for a crew of seven to ten was carrying 53 people, including two women. Hundreds of Sri Lankans, like this group behind me, detected by the Navy, are taking to the seas. Some to escape alleged persecution, many others for better opportunities, all risking their lives in a perilous journey. Back at the naval base, the group is questioned by the Criminal Investigations Department. The majority of those in this group told Al Jazeera that the chance of better economic prospects is worth the risk. So many people have made it this year. No one says they have had a hard time finding work. They are all earning very well. This gives us the strength to drive for ourselves. The sea route to Australia is the cheapest for those with minimal funds and qualifications. Some sell their jewellery or land. Others borrow the money. I've tried several ways to obtain a work visa, a student visa, even a tourist visa, but nothing worked. I don't have anyone to sponsor me, so this is my only option and the cheapest. Failure to reach Australia can mean crippling debt and jail, like this group which was remanded pending investigation. Sri Lankan authorities say the tide of illegal immigrants will continue as long as Australia accepts them. People feel that uh, when they go to uh, mostly Australia that they are welcome there and they can find greener pastures. So that is, I think, kind of a supply-demand situation. It's not uh, nothing to do with the situation here because the situation here is quite normal at the moment. Some Tamils disagree. They say despite an end to a long and brutal war, they feel they are not being given the opportunities they deserve following the end of the conflict. Here in Trincomalee, young people say with the lack of opportunities, braving the seas to Australia is the only option they have. Benel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Trincomalee in northeast Sri Lanka.